Hello friend and thank you for supporting this cleaning for free. Today we're cleaning two small but very dirty spaces in this apartment. As you can see this apartment is a so-called hoarder house and the homeowner knows it. Let's call her Leslie. Leslie told me that the condition of her apartment had been much much worse. It was in November 2022 that she knew this had to change. Before your expectations for this video are too high, I want to explain that the goal of this cleaning was to clean a certain area right there uh, behind the fridge. The goal was certainly not to tidy up this whole apartment because the sorting out part is the thing that Leslie is working on with her mentor. Cleaning, however, is not really one of the mentor's responsibilities. And because Leslie is getting a new fridge next week, she asked me to clean up the space right there where the fridge is. So first I am trying to remove the fridge from that corner. And as I'm doing that, I want to tell you why there is a third person in this video. As most of you guys know, I was interviewed during the last cleaning for an article in the local newspaper. But it didn't become an article just in the local newspaper. Um, it became an article in the newspaper that is spread all over the country here in the Netherlands. And so a lot of people have read the article online. And I received a huge amount of response. And one of the people that messaged me was Will. Will is an ambassador for natural and pure cleaning products. And when she saw my videos, she noticed that I was working with a lot of chemical cleaning products. And she asked if she could come help me and at the same time demonstrate how ecological cleaning products work as good, if not better, than chemical cleaning products. Of course, I was curious and Will was welcome to come and help. When we removed the fridge, this was what we encountered. There were mice that had been a nest in the back of the fridge. And what you see here is all mice poop. Yes, Leslie's home was not only her home but a true mice paradise. Here you can see what the nest in the back of the fridge looked like. Later on in this video you will see how we encountered another mice nest in her bedroom. But for now we're first clearing out this small corner here. And because it was such a small corner it was a little bit difficult as of where I could place the camera. And so I hope you can see kind of what I'm doing. I'm first trying to sweep as much of the mice poop into that bucket. And as I'm sweeping and scooping that mice poop, I wanted to ask you if you could like this video and maybe share it with your friends and family so that the Cleaning for Free community can grow even further on YouTube. I also want to welcome all my new Dutch friends that came to this channel through the news article. Hoi iedereen, leuk dat je kijkt naar deze video. Ik maak gratis gewoon voor mensen die in een vervuilde situatie leven. En ik ben heel dankbaar dat je dit wil supporten. Als je het nou leuk zou vinden dat ik ook Nederlandse voice-overs onder deze video's doe, plaats dan even een reactie onder deze video. Leslie is a woman in her 60s, but she told me that she has been struggling with an eating problem almost her whole life. And that is why there is so much food and drinks stored in Leslie's house. A lot of the food was canned, but it was expired already more than 10 years. 
Since Leslie became to realize in 2022 that her situation had to change, she also realized that all the food she had was a huge attraction to mice. Even though some of you might think that this footage is shocking, I'm very proud of Leslie that she took the step to ask for help. By the way, Leslie told me that she was a huge fan of Mac from Midwest Magic Cleaning and so we instantly had a connection and Leslie also has a lot of knowledge about herbs and plants and how they are natural remedies and how, what you can make of them. Leslie has studied naturopathy and since Will was a fan of ecological cleaning products, we talked and talked about everything that was natural, ecological, biological, etc. It was a very, very interesting morning. Apparently, Leslie also has been hoarding tomato sauce and you can see how the mice have eaten from the labels that were on these bottles. After we emptied the shelves with food and drinks, Will wanted to show me the effect of her ecological products. Here you can see her explaining a little bit to me. And after her demonstration, she gave me the opportunity to see it for myself. <laughs> With this specific cloth, I only had to use minimum pressure to clean the light stains, which was really nice because normally I would waste a lot of energy by scrubbing so hard. And even though I certainly need a sponge and a scraper for the more stubborn stains, I think I will use this cloth in some of the next cleanings. I also want to take a moment to express my gratitude towards Tina because she gave a super thanks on my previous video. And I also want to thank Quinn for buying me a coffee. One coffee stands for cleaning for free for someone else. And if you would like to buy a coffee too, you can find the link in the description. But don't worry if you cannot afford it to support these cleanings financially. I appreciate every one of you and I value your positive and sweet comments just as much. What you're currently watching is how I'm trying to sweep and scrub and scrape all the dirt layer by layer off that floor and off the shelves. I almost wanted to use a sanding machine, but I didn't want to damage her floor. And so I scraped it off bit by bit by bit. And look how much dirt is actually coming off these shelves. I am calling it dirt, but it was actually fermented food that was on there. And since wood is a natural product, you can see how the rotting also has affected the wood. So I did my best to clean these shelves, but in my opinion, for the sake of hygiene, 
the homeowner would be better off buying some new shelves. As you can see, the footage is switching to another room and that's because the product that I sprayed on the floor in the kitchen had to sit there for a couple of minutes. And so I went to Will who was uh, cleaning in the bedroom. And as you can see, it is quite a messy bedroom. I do have a before picture. Just when Will wanted to demonstrate to me her all-purpose cleaner, which is ecological and animal friendly, we met the homeowner's cat and she was so cute and so pretty because she had two different uh, eye colors. I think it was yellow and blue if I remember it correctly, but it was very unique. <laughs> What Will is cleaning right here is part of a table that Leslie really wanted to put up once it was clean. So that's what we did in the bedroom and after that we cleaned up the mice nest that was behind that table. If you've taken a close look to the before pictures I showed you earlier, you could see that there was a lot of food in the bedroom as well. And so that's why the mice decided to build a nest here. We try to scrape as much mouse poop off these vintage rugs as possible, but Leslie told us also that she had bought some new ones and wanted to replace these. So that is why we didn't put in a ton of effort to clean these rugs. <laughs> If you're Dutch and you want to know more about the cleaning products that we use during this cleaning, you can go to Will's Facebook page and I will put the link to that in the description of this video.
after we removed the second mice nest, it was our goal to make this room as unattractive to mice as possible. And so we took away all the food that was beside the bed. And what you're seeing here is that I'm looking for more food. It was all kinds of candy and snacks. Everything um, was just laying there um, between the mess. And I took it out and Will took it to the kitchen for Leslie to sort out. For the last part of this video, I will let you enjoy the before and after pictures. And I do have to say that the last before and after is all Leslie's work. Leslie, I am so proud of you. Now for the rest of you, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!